What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I am the real Jossie of the Distorted Theorist and today it's another one in blast from the past trailers. Well not too much of a past. Bad Boys Ride or Die dropped today and I'm super excited. I've been a fan of the franchise especially ever since I've seen the second one. To this day is one of my top movies but before I get into talking about any of that as always if you want to support our channel and we do appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button hit that like button definitely leave us some comments down below we love to see other movie watchers like yourself let us know what you think of the franchise and think of the trailers that we are watching mike lowry and marcus burnett returning to the screen martin lawrence and willie smith are back doing it again listen you know when you see these two on screen we're about to see some trouble um as i said before uh, pre just a second ago Number two was always my favorite. The cars flying off on the highway scene and just the amazing, amazing comedy team up. Um, and Mike, you ever just rub your leg? I don't know, man, with the ecstasy pills. Oh my God, I'm, I've watched the movie, it must have been a do two dozen times. And uh, the action is on point. That's, that's the, whenever someone talks about a buddy cop movie, hands down, Bad Boys is the one that comes to mind every single time. I don't know, maybe it's just... The time I watched it, the time period I was interested in that kind of film or the first time I seen it. But it's just what set the tone for me. Lethal Weapon as well is, is a big body cop movie for me. I don't know if it's considered one, but I think it is. Um, but Bad Boys was right there. Um, and I don't know, it's something about that great mix of intense comedy. I'm, I'm talking like Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. They're doing their thing. They're, they're OG comedic actors and well in their in their careers i guess um but then you got that the, the, something turns the gear switches and we get that amazing you know cinematic uh action sequences and the story is just beat it, you know it's it, it's ran by jerry brockheimer um for anyone who doesn't know and and it is the only other place unfortunately that i can recall him from is one of my favorite shows csi vegas or csi as it was called then um he produces all that and and i mean that to me, the storytelling, the intricacy, so cool. But I digress. Bad Boys Ride or Die. Well, in the last one, we thought that Mike was going to die, but he didn't. And then we find out that it was his son or he had a son. Again, I'm trying to pick up the piece. It was four years ago. Um, so I don't even know where that leaves us right now. I didn't even know a fourth. I think there was rumors of a fourth one, but I didn't know if it was actually going to happen. I really do think that Will Smith and Martin Lawrence are a great advocate for this film. I really, truly believe they were like working together and love making bad boys because I feel like it contributes to their career and they feel like they, they want to embrace that. Um, but you know what? I don't even want to talk about it any further yet. Let's get into the trailer for Bad Boys Ride or Die and then discuss right now. Let's get it. Bad Boys trailer is coming out. Right now. Right wait, now. Wait. Right, right now. Yeah, right, right <laughs> oh. now. Right now. Right now. <laughs> Check it out. It's hot. Damn it, Mr. Slow P. Down. We are late. My stomach, Mike. I need a ginger ale. Okay, they're wearing foxes. Are they late for like a Get wedding a or something? Maybe. And nothing else. Maybe Marcus's daughter or something? Fresh. Put a man yesterday. Give me one. Put some relish on that muff. <laughs> Open the register. Stay right there. Mm mm. Is that Skittles on the counter, Marcus? This ain't mine, Mike. Yes, it is. Get the fuck up! Marcus, get in the car. He has a gun to my head. <laughs> wanna deal with him, you wanna deal with me? Sorry, sir. But I this, it never gets old. This is... Call 911. Aren't you the police? They know, like, they've been working together so long, they hey, just Reggie, know who's snacks? doing what and no, what sir. they mean. You ate my snacks, didn't you? you need Reggie's back job. again. I'm Love Marine, it. Sir. Well, then you need to deploy. Dad, look. We now have evidence that the late Captain Conrad Howard of Miami PD was working directly with drug corruption for years. Captain Howard is being no. free. Let's go. What the okay. hell? He's texting on the other side. Right. No, he's not, Marcus. If you see him, I'm probably dead. Fuck! Fuckers! Fuck them all! <laughs> I don't know how high up this shit goes, but I don't trust anyone. Bro. You're my bad boys. Now clear my name. Yo, you're my bad boy. You yeah. They're being set up, detectives. Getting the plane fight scene. Oh, a helicopter fight scene. Fuck. We got two oh. suspects. Lowry and Burnett. They're oh, they're dangerous. chasing two of them now. Oh. No! So, 
<laughs> Y'all are some terrible fucking fugitives. So they're on the run from the police force? Oh, we get that shot. Love it. Where they're coming up like this. I need nasty mice. Bad boy. I got this. What you do, though? Oh, man. So many memories. Whoa, that shot was sick. Die. Are y'all still in our clothes? Just because we black, we still in your shit? Why? Look at your shirt. <laughs> Why don't you sing us a little Reba song? Oh, uh -huh. Reba. Sing <laughs> your favorite. Uh, I'm a woman. Uh, so I'm a strong black woman. Strong. Yeah, because she's not black. Yes. What you gonna <laughs> do? What you gonna do? That ain't no Reba song. It's from her mixtape. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, they always said we ride together, we die together. Bad boys for life. And you know what? Such a simple title. Hey, bad boys. I, I, and I, I'll be honest with you. I'm not sure if the name came after the song or the song came after. I don't even know. But it's it's just Will Smith and, and Martin Lawrence. They embody that whole song, that whole that whole title. Always, and, and they sprinkle, it's not like in your face, like, oh, we're bad boys this, we're bad boys that. I mean, it kind of is, but they do it in such a way that you're like, no, this. when you hear the bad boys, this is them. You're you're picturing them, and um, they're just further embellishing on that with the ride or die, because as you know, in all the movies, they, they have, I, once again, you get that comedy, you get that action, but then you also get those sentimental moments where they look at each other and say, you know, Marcus, we ride together, we die together. Bad boys for life. And um, it just, it keeps going. They don't, you know, they, they haven't replaced any of the characters. We still get the whole, the whole story always seems to circulate around um, Marcus and Mike. And I don't know, it's just, I just honestly think it's just two dope actors who grew up in the industry in together and their careers crossed paths so many times that they were like, you know what, fuck it, let's just make this movie. Let's make a movie together. They did Bad Boys, which was a hit back in the day, but then I think they capitalized on it with number two because I don't care what anybody says. That film had so much more money pumped into it and just whoever did the writing on number two, you knocked it out of the park. Um, number three, which just came out, obviously no one saw it coming, came out in 2020. Um, it was a bit of a hard time, COVID, you know. Uh, but I remember me and my boys went to see it in theater and they had a P90 Ruger. And now... Uh, I actually thought they were going to kill kill Will Smith's character off, but they didn't. Um, and I'm glad they didn't because ride or die, I, I'm hoping we're going to see more of the ride than the die in this in this uh, movie. But that was a lengthy trailer. It gave us a great look. A lot of cool. Uh, I just want to touch on, I don't know if it's Jerry Bruckheimer sprinkling it in there, but that that there was a shot there where they're in wares and like the camera just floated between multiple gunfights. That was really cool. The comedy is obviously going to be hit, and I can already tell the banter has not missed a step, and nor has it ever since I've ever been watching these movies. Um, my God, I'm just trying to take in so much. A bunch of, a lot of aerial sequences. I know a lot of times there's boats and, and cars, which I think I've seen some, i definitely seen some cars and vehicles in there, but there was a helicopter. They're in some kind of, uh, what looked to be like glow in the dark golf scenario or, or spot or something. That was really cool. And they're still arguing. And they've been working together for like, what, 30, 40 years in movie time. Uh, I don't even know what it is now, but they still argue and they still can't get along. But at the end of the day, they brothers, you know what I mean? And um, they don't want to see nothing happen to the other one. So they, they got to make sure that they're always on their toes. And now we're getting a new element where they've always been the heroes, the ones, the go-tos. And I guess in this case, they still are. They're that old captain. I forget his name, but that the captain has gone to him. You're my bad boys. He says it out loud. He's the, after all these years of telling the fuck off, fuck off, fuck it, you're fucking it all up. He knows that they're, they're good at heart. And uh, I think they're the only ones that can save him. So I guess we're just going to have to tune in and see if the bad boys are ready to ride again. And I'm sure they are. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me for my trailer reaction and discussion for Bad Boys Ride or Die coming this year. <laughs> As always, if you want to support the channel, and we do appreciate it, for my bad boy who didn't ride with me today, Peter's doing some stuff for the channel over at his place. Um, if you would hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, we definitely appreciate it and definitely want to grow the channel to be something big. And with that, I am the real Jossie of the Distorted Theorists. And like we always say around here,
Keep it real.